everything set now for the lintels. Coming out, they all just collapsed, and one has fell onto the rip saw and done it in. Extra weight we didn't realise. Yeah, you had all this to take up, all the cavity to clean out, the cavity to cut out. And he's still not done, he's gonna get all the um, screw tests put in there yet. Yeah. And we're back for day two on the French door job. So, make this quick. This is what Alex is getting on with. Amongst other things. Everything's set now for the lintels. Seating's ready. Like we said, that lintel's going higher because we're putting the concrete lintel up to the existing lintels. We're going to nail the cabinet straight up to the underside of the timber lintels. Um, then get them in as quick as we can because it's four cats bad weather again. And then it's just a matter of dropping this out and having a bit of a tidy up. So there's a lot to do. See where we've, we've formed it from the um, that is the old window there. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot to do. It's going to be a busy day, so. Let's get cracking. First error, I've got to record. We've just got that rascal up. <coughs> 2100 concrete. What we've had to do is, because of the acros and that soil pipe, we have to bring it inside and then back through that way. So now we've got to lift it up onto this inside skin. Um, first, we just need to denail that, at least at the front edge, and get this cavity tray nailed up. And then um, you get this thing up, get it up into position and then point above the top. Yeah, that's it. That's the plan. Got the knife. Knife? Yeah. Yeah. Filming this bit just to show how all these little fiddly bits slow you right down and why everything takes so long. Are you filming this one? Yeah. You've got the hammer there, mate. That's better. I can get out of here. Where's the nails? I've got them here. Let's see what I'm doing from here. Nice lines forward there. and it just needs tacking in place it's going to get pointed in. Yeah. 
Just lintels in two halves, so I've got a nice line to follow. That's already wobbly as it is. Could move it over to the wall. I think we should be alright with that. Yeah? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, just one big hoist and. We could stand on there now, can't we? Yeah, I like them. Yep. Right, wait, I need a hammer. Uh, what kind? Any description, just at the end. There we go, you've just seen that on time lapse. Concrete lintel in, 150 seating, cavity tray in ready, which is above that, like that. That uh, pack is there just to take the twist that lintel. So we've got that hole to brick up. Got, gonna put the angle line in now, which is gonna sit lower. Like I say, we've, we've had to raise this up to get this, to get the, um, the height for the tray to come over the top. It's just got the lintel, which has got about probably about 180 up stand on that. Nice big up stand. It was quite wide, yeah. So um, yeah, we're all ready to get this in now. 
get this on, get the tray over, get it all bricked up. We brought some clear root vents, which we're going to put in loose, so that the um, the plastic the renderer can either put them wherever he wants or take them out altogether. Like I say, it's a bit of a thing about do um, do you need wheat vents with render? Obviously, there's none here. I've been done that one there. Anyway, let's stop waffling and get this into it. Right, it's just after break now. Alex is cracking on with the uh, two in that way. As you can see, it's nine for you. Um, got the bricks, I've got really purpose in these bricks for that. Collecting the good ones. Um, I've had to have a quick detour and knock the rest of this wall out down to DPC so that we can get this lintel propped. Similar problem I had on the job a while ago. 
I needed to prop the lintel but the wall was in the way so I've had to drop the wall down to DPC so I can prop it and I can leave that in now so um, later on when it's all done stilly down there stilly down there stitch drill is on the inside there and there and then stilly down there and there and then just pile up outside that's what the customers asked us to do with it because they're getting shut of it and then try and take our trestles out later on but yeah so as of nearly 11 o'clock that bit where it's still above the link, point up above there, patch that. That's done that end, Alex has already done that. So it's just a bit bit on the back. Chop, 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 chop. Door out, door step out, replace with a couple of engineering bits. And we've got the cavity back. Door out, cavity opened up. And blocks it, blocks there, the rest of the blocks are in the van. And here's what we've got left on the outside. You can see this end's finished. The vents are going in loose, as I've explained already. And uh, I'm going to put those in. That's the bit finished. And that way, um, once that's done, we can get all this dropped. Get it all put back in the van, we don't need any of that lot there. So yeah, let's see the, the, we'll use the, um, the aluminium tower brace as a prop doesn't have to be, it's not holding a lot of weight, it's just to take the flex out of that, that limp while it goes off. And then, and then one's round here. It looks a bit high that, but there's um, soldiers and then a, a, a vent up the top above that. So all the bits of ours and stuff are coming out and then that's getting picked up. So, do you want this camera then? Um, if you're not using it. Okay. Bloody hell, that was knackering with this. Considering I've been off doing nothing for two weeks, I'm very out of touch and this bloody thing was knackering. But, it's done. There was a very unfortunate casualty. The bloody, as these soldiers were coming out, they all just collapsed and one just fell onto the rip saw. And done it in, so my own cock up. But oh. it's my fault for buying instead of getting a cordless one. Yeah, you can you can blame for everybody for everything. It's my fault for buddy not being careful. But that's all ready now. So I'll take you inside. This is ready for bricks and blocks now. As you can see, it's a nine-inch wall, so no uh, cavity needed. And I think if we if we measured right, this just works a nice block. So. That'll work out nicely, just slide in a block in it, obviously this side it's got a bit of a English garden wall bond. Dad has uh, very cleverly propped up the lintel with some scaffold that the customers have over there. And yeah, we're... That's finished. Oh? Oh bloody hell. And Dad's done with the outside lintel. As you said before, then... Uh, then we vents are in loose in case the people of render want to move them or take them out so oh, nice job so that's that done now it's just the inside lintel needs pointing up still and then this door needs blocking up so we've still got a quite a bit ahead of us but 
there's, there's progress be, to be seen at least, so we'll uh, have a quick tidy up and sort out and we'll catch you after lunch.
Oh, right, well, a quick update. So, um, uh, it doesn't look like much, but we have made some progress. Dad's, as you probably saw, has got the cavity stilled out. So much work involved in that boat. Extra weight we didn't realise. Yeah, you had all this to take up, all the cavity to clean out, the cavity to cut out. And he's still not done, he's got to get all the um, screw tires put in there yet too. But, that will we'll come into that. I've um, I finished off the stitch drilling on both sides from the back, so the back can be fully emptied out. The front is going to get still sawed, so that's that. And I have got this completely ready now, got the screw ties in ready. Um, I'm going to try and put the tie wires in at an angle just so um, they don't stick out and we can still bond some of this together, put some strength back into it. And Dad's loaded some block in, and the trestles are down as you can see, so... Piece by piece. It's
Well, at least it looks a bit different than uh, when I was last filming. There we go. So, there's managed to get one side in, and I've managed to do my four block. What would you do? <laughs> bit of a uh, contrast, isn't it? Now, um, I'll just show you up here closely as well. So, the reason it's like this is because, as you can see, it worked perfectly block. So, I just, we just threw these in, they're getting rendered on, and I'll take you around back. So, just cut this bit while I uh, walk, and then recut it to here. And if you can see, yep, yeah, I've got my tail wires in and there's screw ties in this course so this one is tied in as best as possible four tie wires two screw ties that's all you really need for a little window patch up and what's left here obviously is the brickwork and we've got some good brick for there now that's going to take a bit longer than uh, usual because we've got that big little pyramid at the top and the fact that it's got an english garden wall bond in it too so that's all you can do. So, that's the last of our mortar, and we're just going to job and knock. Dad, Dad's going to job and knock getting this up, and I'm just going to try and get some stuff tidied up while we can. So, we'll come, come back tomorrow for this because it's like half four now, and we can't put another mix on now. So, we'll be back here tomorrow. So, I'll get you set up so you can watch Dad get started and uh, catch you in a minute. Thank you. 